In this house, we are feng shui. I remember hearing that line in No Chances being like, I don't think I've ever heard the term feng shui being used in a song before. Of course, I've heard that term a lot growing up on TV, especially on The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody with that one episode. May have unlocked some memories for you guys out there, but it was the first time hearing it in a song to my remembrance, and the click immediately starts going into what does feng shui have to do with 21 pilots? What does that have to do with Dima? What does that have to do with Scale Nicey? To which I thought, you know what? He just put it in there for the verse verse to tie you in before it gets to the second verse with the ride or die, my son. But people poked at it, people researched it, and oh boy, people have a lot of information. I'm going to share some of those theories today. So good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on when you're watching this. How's it going, guys? First off, I hope you're having a great day today. I have hope your day is going well so far, and I hope it continues to go well. Anyway, this is 21 Pilots in Feng Shui. Ain't that right, Jim? We're going to be taking a look at several different Twitter accounts and two specific Twitter threads. Not everyone who I'm going to talk about in this video will be down in the description box below, so make sure you go follow them on Twitter. Show them some love, show them support, because they are all amazing people that come up with some great things. So our first stop is going to be by Bestie of the channel and Bestie on Twitter, Dima Org Updates at Dima Org underscore updates on Twitter. So here is is their thread. Live tweeting my deep dive into feng shui. Starting on Wikipedia, feng shui, also known as Chinese geomancy, is a psycho pseudoscience traditional practice originating from ancient China which claims to use energy forces to harmonize individuals with their surrounding environments. The term feng shui literally translates to wind, water in English. Seems to have to do with architecture too. In the past, before magnetic compasses, feng shui relied on astro astronomy to find correlations between humans and the universe. Remember how there was all that stuff with the moon stars on Dima Org? Hmm. Polarity is expressed in feng shui as yin and yang theory. In Yeodian, the cardinal directions are determined by marker stars of the mega constellations known as the four central animals. East, as we talked about in the side connection, I believe, is the Azure Dragon, also known as the Blue Green Dragon. And looks like our friend Trash without wings. Because as we know in Chinese culture, their dragons don't have wings compared to the dragons from European culture that traditionally have their wings. In Japan, the Azure Dragon is one of the four guardian spirits of cities and said to protect the city of Kyoto in the east. This logo of Kyoto, does it kind of look similar to you? Hmm. More recent forms of feng shui simplify principles that come in the traditional branches and focus mainly on the use of bagua. The Bagua is eight symbols used in a Taoist cosmology to represent the fundamental principles of reality, seen as a range of eight uh, interrelated concepts. Fusui, earlier heaven, this also kind of looks similar, doesn't it? So we kind of get these symbols right here, and it kind of looks like this little tiny map of Dima, except this is more... Uh, edged instead of round. We see the buildings, we get the centralized location in the middle where all the nine pillars are. Read which one of these are east. Okay, let's go ahead. So this is the nine halls diagram that Dima Org Updates provides, and we get east as the second one from the top. Spring Equinox, Fire, Middle Daughter, East, Magenta, Big. Then they also provide the Yellow River map. So East, again, second one from the bottom, Spring Equinox, Metal, Spleen, for organs, uh, Direction East, Color, Yellow, Taste Sour, Constellation, Hairy Head, Taurus, a uh, uh, Fluid Essence. So we get the Fu Sui is the name, Li, Fire, Spring, Clean, Mill, Daughter, Rapid Movement, Radiance, and the Sun. With the later heaven, we get East is Zen, Thunder, Spring, Arousing, Eldest Sun, Excitement, Revolution, Division. Uh, yellow River Map, we get we get East, Spring Equinox, Metal, Spleen, Yellow, Sour, 
Perry head Taurus, fluid essence binary is 001, you know, ones and zeros in morph, and mood is anger. Nine halls diagram, east, spring equinox, elements fire, middle daughter, magenta, big zero one zero. And yeah, so it is a very, very interesting dive into the feng shui as a whole. Let's move over to our next thread. Now, this person I didn't mention before in the previous video, and that previous video was actually more recent. It was the how self-titled connects with Skeled in Icy video, and it's Icy Curse. So they are back again. We're gonna do a deep dive into their feng shui thread as well. Okay, click. Here's a theory thread for you. It's lengthy, but I can do a guarantee that it's worth the read. Let me know your thoughts, too. All the way back in 2019, I created a theory on another account, which is no longer active. Sorry. We have a thread about ancient Chinese philosophy and how it ties in with trench slash scale nicely. Then it provides screenshots of the original post to confirm that it was, in fact, them. So... We get to this little picture here. It says, I think I may have found something on this sort of insane. In ancient China, there was something called uh, the Langzhu culture. Not much is known about them, but we know that they were located in the Yellow River Valley. It was the largest, earliest walled city in China, and they created two burial ritual objects called the Bai and the Kong. We will talk about those later in the thread. About the yin yang symbol duality in trigrams. So, the duality of blurry face reminded me of yin and yang. Each side of yin and yang has a line that represents it. A solid line represents the yang and means light or undivided. Broken line represents yin and means dark and divided. At the bottom of the blurry face album cover, the U and the A do not have a line through it. If we were to remove all the letters and leave U, A, and the spaces empty, we would get two broken lines, yin lines. And this would make sense because the whole album is about the dark parts of Tyler and how Tyler is double sides divided. These yin yang lines are often arranged into three groups, um, and those groups are called trigrams. These are eight possible combinations of these trigrams. We see fire, earth, lake, heaven, water, mountain, thunder, and wind going in a little circle. Notice how there is a compass? In ancient China, there were five directions instead of four. There was a fourth cardinal direction and the, then a fifth, which they called center. South was always the top because it was considered the most important direction. In ancient China, only the emperors were allowed to have compass and maps. Anyone found a compass and map, they would be convicted for treason and punish. Kind of like how if the bandidos were found outside of Dima, they would be punished with the failed perimeter escape or FPE. Also, if we removed the lever from the FPE logo, we would be a Yang line. The bandidos reclaimed the FPE logo. Now it's sort of a symbol of light in their undivinedness as a group. Because the emperors were the only ones who could have maps and compasses, it would make sense that everything was designed for their convenience. The Emperor's throne was always face south. When doing important rituals, they face south. Their robes had to match the direction of the season. They had to play the correct music and make sure they kept the system running. You know, feng shui stuff. Now, I do want to mention this post from Sid, Slowtown Anathema, that we also talked about in the... Uh, a self-titled scale nice connection which was this how the psi makes an s pointing up south is up as we just talked about within this each cardinal direction had a color an element or symbolic animal assigned to it south was red fire red bird north black water tortoise west metal wood white tiger east Blue Wood Azure Dragon, which we already talked about with the Dima Orc updates thread, but South Red, Red Bird, Flying from a Fire, Nico, and the Niners. Now it's finally time where we talk about the Bai and the Kong. The Bai and the Kong were later used in the Zhao Dynasty and the rituals done meaning Ming Tang, meaning Hall of Brightness. It was originally done, done here to hopefully somehow make their rule and virtues radiate by reasoning to every single part of the Empire. Does it 
kind of sound like the Dima and Neon Gravestones to you. The ancient Chinese people need some way of determining True North for an accurate calendar. To fix the position of True North accurately, they would have used a sighting tube. They start out with a bamboo tube before moving on to the Bai and a Kong. Again, look familiar? Kind of looks like the Pillars of Dima. Inside a Kong could be tiered. The number of tiers inside represent the number of generations of clans or tribes the leaders ruled or controlled. If we take a look inside of the uh, the uh, Pillars of Dima, we do see like that they are in fact tiered. So according to this, I believe they would be on their fourth generation. With how many generations these bishops have ruled then, have some ruled longer than others, which is a pretty interesting thought. How long has Nico been there? How long has Keon's been there? How long has Sally Sakarver been there? Has she always been with Dan? Mm, who knows? This theory was once again confirmed by the lyrics in No Chances. In my house shoes, there's a foot race. In this house, we are feng shui, which is later followed by the lyrics, got a good base and loose tongue, new Taurus in the octagon. Mm. Ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum, bum. And this is one of the images when you look up feng shui. This is congruent with the south being red. Let's also remember the teograms mentioned above, to which we see again this octagon. Now, <laughs> I just thought that was a cheeky reference to Conor McGregor, which, I mean, on the surface, for most people, it is. But with the feng shui map right here, that octagon takes on a new shape entirely, and we get this whole octagon thing again and notice how each one of these has a color uh ariel leonard on twitter we've been talking and uh, discussing some theories and they pointed out that all the colors you see on the feng shui map you see on self-titled another connection back there and it, it's all feng shui it's all feng shui, baby. But anyway, guys, that's all I got for you when it comes to 21 Pilots and feng shui. Just a little bit deep dive into everything, how it connects with the game of storyline. And it really makes sense, like, especially when you take a look at the Bison and the Kongs and how then you connect them back to the Towers of Dima. Much like how in the submarine, the nuclear reactors connect back to, in the submarines can connect back to the Towers of Dima. It's all just crazy. It's all just crazy but anyway guys let me know what you think of the feng shui stuff in the comment section below if you have anything to add to this i will read your comments and it will take me a bit long to respond when it comes to responding to anything i like having the time to actually sit down and write the thorough response instead of just yeah that's it or like just something really vague i like actually sitting down and typing a complete answer up but anyway guys i really hope you enjoyed today's video again if you have anything to add let me know down in the comment section below and i'll go ahead and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye good night but more importantly have a good day show the love to the people down in the description box below but have a good day i'll see you later guys